Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Taro. Yes, I'm back. Thank you so much for all your good wishes. I'm much better now. A bit weak, but we'll get there. Okay, so let's not waste any more time on me. Let's see what message wants to show forth for my Saggy gang. Okay. Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. Somebody wants to return, my God. Somebody wants to return. There is so much love here. But there's also a blockage for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, things are quite stagnant. Somebody is very embarrassed, very ashamed uh, because of a choice that they never made. Maybe somebody was behaving like a player in the past. Very inconsistent, in and out behavior, um, wanting maybe friends with benefits, connections. Very well knowing that they had a soulmate connection in hand. Now they're recognizing the love, the overwhelming love that they feel for their person, but feeling blocked because of some stagnation, maybe because of their own self-worth issues. Maybe there is embarrassment, there is shame that, uh, you know, they never chose the right partner in the past. Hoping that this fight can end and peace and harmony can be restored. Let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards, of course, Sagittarius. Let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then we'll do the clarification. Sagittarius and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? A few more Sagis from another deck. And... Uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, I'm back. My email is in the description box below. Sagittarius and their person. And just a few more Sagis from a third deck as well. Sagittarius and their person. Okay, good to go Sagis. Let's start your reading. The first card here says, I miss you more now that we are, we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. I feel ashamed for how I treated you. You did not deserve that. I just told you that, right? Showed you this card. Somebody is very embarrassed and ashamed of the way they probably pushed their person away very well knowing how special this connection was shame on me i put others before you soon after i realized they were of no value to me you're holding us back because of your own self-worth issues and inability to forgive yourself i've forgiven you would you just forgive yourself already and let's live our life together free from the past. No one is perfect. I always look out for you because I love you unconditionally. I try to warn you about fake people with bad intentions who are out there to manipulate and use you. It cuts deep because you seem to trust everyone over me. I hate that your rejection can still trigger a tendency for me to spiral out of control with unhealthy and addictive behaviors. I listened to the wrong people. They were wrong about you. When I miss you, I don't have to go far. I just have to look within my heart and soul because that's where you are. I knew from the first time that I saw you that I would love you forever. Your smile made me fall in love with you and I knew then that I wanted to wake up to see your smile every morning. Though I haven't always said it with words, there is love in the silence. Close your eyes and feel my presence. Be still and listen to me tell you that I love you. This is the overall energy for your reading today, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's start your reading then. Uh, let's take an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today. 
as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Healthful. Maybe it's time to, for you to take care of your health, Sagittarius. If there's any uh, emotional stress or physical stress, be very mindful of your own health. Or maybe this could just be, well, to, cho to be in a healthy connection. Right? Relationships also need to be healthy for them to work. Choose healthy options. Okay. So, Spirit, let's get on with their reading. Uh, Knight of Wands as the first card. Knight of Wands. Somebody chose third parties in the past. Maybe somebody... Yeah, somebody chose third parties, they, they were always looking over their shoulders, maybe never chose, never fought for this connection. Uh, yeah, somebody was definitely in the night of uh, one's energy here, uh, always wanting to keep their options open, right? Mm. Yeah, this is like too many cards suggesting the same, three of pentacles in reverse, three of cups here. Maybe their person found out. Maybe there was some spying that happens. Maybe somebody found out something. Uh, three of Cups. Three of Cups. Yes, it, maybe things came to light. Maybe something was revealed about this King of Wands behavior. Maybe their person got upset and gave up on them after finding out what they were up to. Whoever this Knight of Wands is, I think, now wants to return back. Six of Cups. Six of Cups, yes, they are now grown up from the Knight of Swords. Sorry, sorry, Knight of Wands, this person has elevated themselves to being the King of Wands. To say, hey, I'm ready, I'm, I'm a big, big person now. <laughs> I've grown up and uh, I want to come back and take responsibility. Yeah, they don't, don't want to be in... Uh, in a place where they are undecided or choosing between options or you know they've made up their mind they know that they know the direction they want to go they've chosen the person they want and um, they're realizing that this connection was a soulmate connection who to who they want to return this king of wands has now made up their mind who probably in the past was behaving like a player so why is the chariot in reverse then spirit why is the chariot in reverse? Why is the chariot in reverse? One more. Maybe in the past this person once wanted to stay single. Now now the now the feeling stuck. Maybe there's distance between the two of you. Maybe they feel their person's given up on them. Now they're realizing they've lost out on a very stable uh, connection, feeling devastated at the ending. But they have made up their mind now. I mean, this person is only getting better and better with as, as I'm going on in the reading from showing up as the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands and now the King of Pentacles, which is like, I'm ready for commitment. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. I want a long-term partner. There is so much love here. Ace of Cups. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, whoever this uh, person is, they feel that uh, uh, whatever games they played, uh, whatever they did, it kind of backfired on them. They could have uh, been playing with their options. Now they're ready. Now, they're, now this person is absolutely ready. They've become much stronger now. They don't want to overthink this. They want to come out of their stress and tension. This person is ready for commitment and a brand new chapter. Uh, there is still stagnation though. Why spirit? Why is, why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, even though this person seems to have made up their mind now? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, because now they have to go and face their person. They have to go face their person and request them for 
uh, it's like taking a risk to go and ask their person to give them a new beginning. They suspect their person probably has their guard up now or will be will probably cut their head off if they go back. This person is uh, manifesting a new beginning for sure, but they are maybe afraid of facing the consequences of going back and asking for the second chance. Why? Because they are very embarrassed and very ashamed. Why Spirit? Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Because in the past I think they created too much um, chaos. This person is right now reflecting on the bad choices that they made. Maybe they disrespected their person in the past. They never saw the value of the person. They, they, I mean, they had an empress in hand, right? And to disrespect an empress, now they don't know how to end the fight. They are blocked. Two of swords. Two of swords. Yes, this person knows what they've done. They know what they've done. This person wants the Ten of Cups now, that's for sure. But they feel that because they never made a decision in the past, their unwise, foolish choices has created unrest in this connection. Um, they want to come out of the cold. They do want to reunite. This person desperately wants to end this conflict now so that peace and harmony can be restored. Uh, give me a card for the Six of Swords spirit. Six of Swords. They're very frustrated. <laughs> oh my God, this person is so angry and so frustrated. Not with this other person. They are angry with themselves. Look at the amount of love, love they feel now. Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. Right? They are really upset now with their own past behavior. This is frustration. Recognizing the love of their life. So, why is the lovers here, spirit? And the two of cups right under that as well. Yeah, somebody feels a very strong attraction and they know this is like a past life, soul connection, twin flame connection, soul mate connection, past, I don't know. Let's see. Spirit lovers, why was the lovers here as the overall energy for Saji's reading today? The sun card. Okay. Yeah, somebody is depressed. Somebody is very, very sad and they're depressed that they never spoke their truth. They could have lied. They never made a choice or a decision in the past. Uh, something that they now know is their happily ever after. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is their sunshine. Now this person is very depressed that things have stagnated because they never, they never offered when the time was right. They, just, they, they didn't see this connection for what it was worth when the time was right. Overall, I think whoever this person is, is now recognizing this connection and very frustrated and foolish, uh, feeling very frustrated and foolish at not having done right when they should have. And that's all I have for you, Sajis. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.